a haircut. Does it look pretty? Yeah, it's just the same haircut I got last time. Yeah, I'm lazy. I don't like, I don't, I don't, I don't like hair. Well, I do like hair. But, yeah. This starts show. <laughs> What's happening, film friends? David the Film Junkie here, bringing you some movie news you can find on your own, but I'm gonna find it for you and tell you about it. Uh-huh! I appreciate you guys clicking in, as always, so hey, let's talk some movies. Alright, guys, yeah, Sunday was pretty, pretty interesting because I kept seeing, like, random tweets about a supposed leaked bat suit uh, showing up, and I made a quick video about it, hopefully you guys watched it, but show the image right there, the first one. Yes, that is a black and white drawn picture. It could very well be... You know, concept art could be just some fan art, whatever the hell, but it very well could be the costume designer's art. It shows the cow, has the short ears, looks like like what we've, been, what we've heard, and it's got the wide eyes, which I'm really wanting. Then, of course, there was this picture. Yes, that, the mask looks awesome. I mean, when I saw it, I went, ah, oh, ga, ga, ah, pants down. I mean, I really did, at first, get excited, just because the mask is what struck me. I was like, no. Oh. Whoa, but then as I further investigated, I'm like, this, that's, no, that's fake, because why would there be other people just standing there, like, it's just Batman just chilling, hey, who wants to see the Bat suit? And it obviously wasn't Ben Affleck in there, because it didn't have the, his chin, and it looked like there was a nipple right on the suit. Wouldn't that be funny if Snyder just said, hey, fuck all of you. But interesting enough, the designer, the costume designer, he's been, eh, he's been vocal lately. First he, he was, uh, very clo up close and personal with Flicks in the City, and they interviewed him and he talked about the suits, the costumes and everything for about four or five minutes. If you haven't seen it yet, I'll have it down below. And uh, it was pretty interesting, got me a little excited because, you know, it's just like, come on. Then he tweets this out. Ah. Oh, yeah. So next few weeks they had a photo shoot. Ah. Yeah, so we might be seeing that thing sometime soon. All the costumes, but of, of course, we could care less about the other two. It's very exciting stuff, but then you got this dick. There are rumors that we're gonna get an official look at Ben Affleck in his fat suit. Oh, real? Okay. Yeah. Uh, I can't, happen? I cannot confirm that. Okay. Uh, but I'm sure of... Well, you said there's a picture out there of the two suits that you took recently. Oh, there's pictures of the suits, but like, you have to steal my phone to get it. No, no, I'm just kidding. It's not on my phone. Oh, I'm following you home. <laughs> Oh, shut up, Snyder. Yeah, that's right. That was um, him at the premiere of the 300 movie. And uh, somebody, of course, was like, hey, we hear the bat suit's coming out. And he just got new to me. Yeah, you son of a bitch. I love you, though, Zachy. So who knows when we're going to see this bat suit. Few weeks, the costume designer says. Uh, the anticipation is killing. It's killing. This is what's exciting about this kind of stuff. Ugh. Man, when that bat suit shows, I mean, I don't, I don't know. I, I, I won't have pants on. Then we go to the Avengers side of the world, the Marvel side, and Chris Hemsworth was just at what was it, Wizard World Sacramento, Mento. Yeah, blah, blah blah blah. I don't even can't even pronounce the capital of my state right. But anyways, he was uh, he talked a little bit about Avengers too, and he said that the magnitude of it is totally the next level shit. It's ramped up, he says. And, uh, of course it's going to be. He just says, yeah, Joss Whedon is brilliant, which he is brilliant. It's like, it's like, can we clone, can we clone Joss Whedon and bring him to the DC world? Thanks. It's okay, it's okay. Snyder's doing a good job, just not as good of a job, but it's okay. But yeah, if you want to hear all what he has to say, there's actually like a whole video, like 11 minute video or so, maybe 15 minutes. Down below, check it out, let me know what you think. Reboots and remakes. All right, remakes. You know that Hollywood's just going to remake everything. Okay, but sometimes you can wrap your brain around, around certain things, and I can really wrap my brain around this. If you guys want to, if you guys want comedy gold, 80s comedy gold, PG rated, and you're just, you know what, I just want to have some laughs, watch the movie Fletch with Chevy Chase. I tell you what, I, I didn't see this movie, I think I saw it when I was a kid probably and just never remember, and then I, uh, probably about pff, a long time ago, I bought it on a DVD, watched it and just laughed my ass off. Just quick humor. I mean, Chevy Chase was really good at that fast-talking, just witty humor. 
And you know, if you don't know what Flesh is, he's just, he's a journalist who really goes above and beyond to get a story out. And he'll like disguise himself and he'll talk himself in and out of situations. It's great, spot on comedy. And I kept hearing about, there's actually two movies and they're also based off books. I didn't know they were based off books. There's like 11 books, holy shit. So he's like a James Bond. But I kept hearing Kevin Smith talking about bringing Fletch back. A long time ago he actually talked about it. I forgot, it was on something. It was a while ago. Like, it had to be like six, seven years ago. He talked about wanting to write a Fletch movie because he's a huge fan of the Fletch movies as well. And he even talked about Ryan Reynolds being the new Fletch. And I thought, uh, do it. But sadly, that went nowhere, um, at least I think, unless he is involved in this one. But they want to remake the movie and they're talking to Mr. Jason Sudeikis. Yes. Yes. Yeah, he'd be excellent as Fletch. If you guys seen Fletch, obviously fast talking. We know Jason Sudeikis is a fast talker, funny, witty. He'd be perfect for it. I think they should do it. Create a whole new franchise over him, man. I think I like this idea. I want this to happen. But let me know what you guys think as well as everything else I talked about today in the balls area. And also hit that like, thumbs up button if you'd be so kind. Subscribe to my channel if you have not already. And also visit FilmJunkie.com for your latest in movie news, trailers, and film reviews. Well, all right, guys. Hi, I'm David, the Film Junkie. And I brought you some movie news you can find on your own. But I found it for you and told you about it. You're welcome. That's right. <coughs> Still getting over it. Still getting over the sickness. I'm good. I'm good. It's gonna be a better week. It's gonna be a better week because my job, it's settled down. Cause I was working 12 hour days for like the past two weeks. Okay, so that's why videos were scarce and then I get sick. It just, it's, it was a struggle for two weeks, man. That was a total just like, eh. ah. but I'm, I'm okay. Everything's settling down. I think I'm working eight hour days now, so I'll be okay. Okay, appreciate the support. You know I love each and every one of you. Even you trolls out there. I even love you too because <laughs> you still give me views. <laughs> Sucker.